a second night of digging under the fallen Morandi Bridge as the search for victims continues. There's an urgent need to clear the tons of debris from rail tracks as well as from a dry riverbed to avoid having a dam created if heavy rains fall. Declaring a 12-month state of emergency, Italy's Prime Minister turned to Autostrade, the firm in charge of operating and maintaining the bridge. He signalled the government wouldn't wait for the investigation to conclude to revoke its contract. We have the obligation to act so that every citizen can travel safely. Autostrade had the burden, the binding obligation of the running costs, and to keep up with the bridge's maintenance work. His transportation and infrastructure minister earlier said his ministry was preparing to fine Autostrade up to 150 million euros. The company protests the government's plan, saying it is impossible to revoke its concession while the cause of the collapse has not been determined. Autostrade operates almost half of Italy's 6,700-kilometre motorway network under a contract running through 2038. It argues that it met its obligations and all its works had been approved by the government. Authorities are also worried about the stability of remaining sections of the bridge that stand above other buildings. More than 600 people have been evacuated from nearby homes, some living practically in the shadow of the elevated motorway. Building a new bridge could require destroying the vacated buildings, according to the transport minister.